This model shows sweat glands or sudoriferous glands and you can see four of them represented in different regions. We have one over here in the scalp, one over here in the armpit, and it's next to another type of sweat gland, and then two that are located right over here in the sole of the foot. It, this one over here and this one over here is in relief, and these two have been cut open so that you can see profiles. Here you can see these two sweat glands. These are the most common type of sweat gland. This is the eccrine sweat gland. It produces a very watery secretion. You can see that the secretory part of the gland is right over here where this tube is highly coiled and the secretions will be dumped into a duct which will ascend and you can see it coiling through the thick epidermis that you find in the sole of the foot and opening up at the surface at a pore. Right next to this eccrine sweat gland we see this sweat gland which is referred to as the apocrine sweat gland. We take a closer look at the secretory portion of this apocrine sweat gland. The secretory portion has a, a wider lumen and because of the way these cells appeared histologically, it was thought that these cells were secreting their secretion by the apocrine method of secretion, which is the way that the glands in the breasts, the lactiferous glands, produce milk. However, that was a mistake because the actual method of secretion of these, this gland is similar to the way uh, sweat is produced in the equine sweat gland. The secretion that is produced is a thicker, more viscous secretion, and it contains a lot of molecules that when bacteria start to work on these molecules and break them down, it produces body odor, and for this reason you can think of this sweat gland as being the stinky sweat gland. You can see it's duct going up and opening up through a pore right over here. We can see right over here in the skin of the scalp and right over here in the skin of the armpit associated with the hair follicles we can see the sebaceous or oil glands. So here we can see the oil gland in three-dimensional relief and here we can see it in three dimensions and cut open right over here. This oil gland dumps its secretion right over here into the hair follicle right where the internal root sheath disintegrates 